Welcome to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. This again is Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. And I also had a comment from Breezy number 2. Now Breezy number 2 actually wanted to know, a couple videos back I created a picture I worked on a picture and then I put my signature on it. Well Breezy2, uh, thank you for your comment, your question, asked how would we build a signature file and save it so we can use it on any other picture? Well, when I get these questions it kind of inspires me, if I've never done it before, to actually sit down and work on it and learn it so I could teach you how to do it. And as it turns out, it's pretty simple to actually do. What we're going to start off with Instead of opening up a picture in our editor, I want you to go to your pull down menu for edit and go to full edit. We're going to start with a blank gray screen, nothing here. Because we're going to build our signature file from scratch and then we'll be able to keep that file and use it on any other picture. And it seems to work out pretty well when I've tried it. Let's see if I can recreate my own lesson. Let's go to file, new, blank file. Now I had this kind of small when I was testing this out before, so let's do the width. We're doing this at the pull down menu here, probably we'll say pixels. And we can leave it at pixels and we'll make it, uh, say the width will be um, 400 by 200. That seems pretty good size. We're going to give it a name of signature. Alright. And make sure your background contents down here is not sent to white or background color. We're going to set it to transparent. Then click OK. Now here's our new little file for our signature. Now all we have to do is to type our signature in there. Let's click on the text tool, horizontal type tool. Click inside the box and now we're just going to start typing. And it's a little bit hard to see. So what I can do is actually raise that text size up so we can actually see this, see what's going on here. There we go. Now we can see what's going on. The text that I selected for a signature looking or kind of a, a cursive looking is the brush script standard. Now remember from before you click this pull down menu, you can select whatever kind of text you want to use for your signature. It doesn't really matter. It's a personal choice. Once we have that, let's click the Move tool. We're going to move it over a little bit. Just center it up. You know, we're just making it so we can use it. It's a transparent background. Let's go ahead and put one of my bevel effects on it that I like to use. I just pull that over and drop it right on top of there. You can see now it's actually beveled up a little bit. And now we get the little FX down here, which stands for uh, Layer Styles. Double click that. And we can actually change that bevel. Watch the bevel come up off the page. You can see it come up. Look, it go back down. We're going to pull it up just a little bit. And then if we want, we're going to give it a little bit of drop shadow. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be too deep. A little drop shadow. A little distance to it to make it pulled away a little bit. So you can see the letters are pulling off the page. The opacity, you can drop it down if you wish. But let's leave it up so you can actually see it. Then click OK. There you go, now we have a signature file built and we're ready to save that file. Let's go up to File, Save As, and I already created under my pictures, I created a file folder called Signature. And we're going to save this as signature.psd, which is a print shop um, developer file, so PSD. Include it in the organizer, just so you always have it handy, and click Save. At that point, now we have our signature file ready to go. I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to go back to our organizer. And what we're going to do, we're going to simulate that you're going to have a picture that you took. You can see now our signature file is in the organizer. And we're going to simulate that we took a picture and we want to put our signature on it before we send it out to be developed. So 
you can use any picture you want. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's just take one here. Generalize, pick whatever you want to do. Um, let's just take this one here. Uh, we're going to right click on it, open this up in the full editor. At that point, the full editor is going to come back open. And there's our picture. Now at this point, we're not going to click on view fit the screen. We're going to leave it just like it is because we have to get behind it when we open our signature file. So now we're going to file, open. And now we can go, if we was up here, under my pictures, we can just double click signature. Click on here. There's our signature file. Click on open. The signature file opens. And now what we're going to do is just like when we did a collage. We're going to just click on this and drag it and drop it onto here. Now the only thing I see that happened here, I could have probably made this a different size. We can close this now. We're done with that. You can see it created a new layer. But look how small it made that. It made it pretty doggone small. Now I could double click on it. Then I can change my font size. And I click. Now we actually have a decent looking size signature. Here's another way you can change it. With the signature uh, layer highlighted in gray, go click on image, resize, and click on scale. Now look, I got these little bars here. I can kind of scale it out instead of doing the font size over and over. I can scale this out and see what looks nice. And uh, you know you might not want it too intrusive or on your picture. Let's pull it over a little bit more. Let's get that done. Click OK. And there you go. Now you got your your signature on your picture. And then you just save that. Uh, save that picture as whatever you want to save it as. And it's ready to go out to the developer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Once again, uh, uh, Breezy2, thank you so much for the comment and for the question. Uh, it definitely inspired another video, and that's always a good thing. Thanks to everybody out there that's been commenting on the videos. Man, I, I sit back and I read these comments, and it just uh, uh, blows me away, all the, uh, the nice comments that everybody's giving me. Um, I've gotten a few couple uh, emails. Um, one gentleman actually from Spain, which I thought was really wonderful. I actually sat down and uh, emailed him back uh, this morning at about uh, 6.30 uh, Eastern Time. So it's nice to get these comments in, and as people know, when they send me comments, I do respond to uh, numerous comments. Uh, if you have a question, by all means, drop me a line, and I will give you an answer for it. If you have a um, possible suggestion for another video, something you want to see me do or uh, want me to figure out, so make it easier for you to do it let me know and I'll figure that out for you once again I'm your host Jack um, the series or the uh, website is actually jackstechcorner.com the email address is jackstechcorner at gmail.com um, by all means email me I like to hear from you or you know at the very least rate the videos and post some files in there I'm also working on a new video site um, I'm pretty excited about because you'll be able to see these videos in a lot better resolution. Uh, it works pretty much like YouTube, but YouTube limits me to 10 minutes, and it also limits um, the resolution doesn't look that great, so I was looking for a better site. Uh, the new site, if you want to look at it, is Viddler, V-I-D-D-L-E-R dot com with a slash, a forward slash, and then Jack's Tech Corner. Have a look. I'm starting to get the videos moved over there, and they're looking really, really good. Uh, you know, look at those, and make sure you open them up full screen, and then you can actually see what's going on. And um, you'll be able to see all the menus and everything a lot better. I think you'll be impressed. Email me and let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see how much more effort I have to put into Viddler.com. Take care, and uh, look for links on my homepage. They're all there at uh, jackstechcorner.com. Till next time, I'll see you back here very soon. Keep editing, and... Keep the comments coming. Bye for now.